Hey everybody, this is Beth from Quilts and Lace, and I have a really neat tool for you today for Toolbox Tuesday. Uh, this is something, whoever came up with it, a uh, super clever and very useful idea. Uh, this particular product is by Kimber Bell, and uh, they call them slap bands, so stabilizer slap bands. Um, and they come in a bunch of different colors and they have uh, the type of stabilizer that they're for. So uh, I think of all the different types of embroidery projects that I do and we've got a few different things and um, this one used some foam and some tear away. This one used a wash away. This one we're using a sticky one on it. So all of these projects takes all different kinds of stabilizers for it. So I have a, a bin at home full of my different stabilizers and um, it is very useful to know what is what. So if you look at these nicely packaged stabilizers here, and I've got them in all different kinds of brands, including the Kimberbell ones, um, you're like, why do you need slap bands? Why do you need to keep them organized? They're all nicely labeled, nice and neat. But this is brand new in the store. Once you get home and use them one time, this is what you end up with. You end up with stabilizers. Mostly all of them are white. They really pretty much look all the same. They're a mess because they're coming off of the, the tube. And so you're having to roll them um, back up again and try to keep them nice. So um, just a mess plus uh, if you forget what they're for, or you haven't stuck the packaging down the middle, uh, you don't even know what you have anymore. So the stabilizer slap bands are perfect. So let me show you how they're organized. They're color coded, and the yellow ones are all cutaway type stabilizers. The pink and the red are tearaway stabilizers. The blue are the wash away. And then the green are um, specialty products. So if we take this one right here, Kimberbell actually has the label on the stabilizer coordinated with the slap band. So this one is a sticky back tear away. So we can use uh, any of the, the here's a tear away here. So I can just slap that around it and hold it in place. But let me show you on a messy roll. Uh, this one here, I can tell it is a, a tear away. So I am going to put a tear away. And this is kind of a light or a stiff tear away. So I could just put my band around that. Now this is nice and neat to store away. This one right here. So he is a cutaway. So, and he is a uh, fusible cutaway too. So we're going to use our heavy cutaway for that one. And actually, if there are some properties on it, you can just take a little marker and you could put fusible on there if you wanted to. So you could use a little marker to label it closer. This one here, this is a wash away. I can get rid of that now and put my wash away on there, nice and neat. And then this one here is another cutaway. So I can wrap that one up. And this is a medium cutaway. And I can just put that around it. And now, look how nice and neat that is. Cool. So this is the Kimber Bell Stabilizer Slap Bands and color coded and labeled so that you can keep all your stabilizers nicely organized and identifiable. Thank you guys for joining me.